recent weeks we've been researching Hour of Code, uh, I've realized the impact that technology uh, and computer science has on our daily lives. Students usually are hesitant. They'll say, I can't do coding, it's so scary. And then we bring uh, programs in that are drag and drop, or we do low-tech coding where students are using hands-on uh, tools. I showed them uh, videos uh, with Hour of Code, and they start to realize that if they could do simple puzzles, play video games, uh, even just play with plastic cups or, or tubes or what have you, that they're actually doing some coding. And how often do students get a chance to try something that they don't already have all the answers to? And how often do we um, set up environments for learning where it's completely student driven. And so the idea behind this and you know with the support of the teachers here and, and our admin, um, this has been completely student driven and it's been quite a success. Students are very positive uh, with the response. Um, they see the benefit of it because it's, uh, it's real, it's evident, uh, it's also a little bit challenging. I love the fact that they see their results instantaneously. They love the fact that they could try something and manipulate it and see what happens. There's a real sense of collaboration and the opportunity to experience some failure, but through that failure be resilient and learn from those mistakes. A program like uh, the Hour of Code or an initiative like that really uh, lessens the anxiety around coding and computer science. The Hour of Code um, at Richmond Rose has provided an opportunity for students to collaborate, um, to come together to problem solve and to experiment and to take risks, uh, risks that weren't um, open for myself to take um, in school, um, but it certainly allows them to come together to explore a completely different world. I think as teachers we often think of ourselves as a source uh, of all knowledge. We really have to shift our, our, our frame of mind and look at ourselves as more of a project manager and really encourage our students to take that risk and to foster the self-learning in our students and to really get them to, uh, you know, to challenge themselves.